new favorite things. Um, everybody always loves Trader Joe's and I'm never sure why. I don't, I never get it. But then people will always show me something that they love from Trader Joe's. So before we get started, I, I usually hate bagged food, like things that come out of a bag. I feel like ooh, it all tastes gross. But I really like, it's a multi-grain blend with veggies. So it's kind of like a rice with vegetables. If you've never had this at Trader Joe's, and all you have to do is microwave it, right? And this is an awesome side, and it's one of my favorite new things. And it's kind of uh, a new, you know, it's hard for me. The, the vegetables is always what takes time to make them taste good and whatever. So this, I love it, microwave. This is awesome at Trader Joe's. And another sweet find that I love this, this is creamy polenta. Again, another one you can microwave or throw in a saucepan. These two things are just awesome sides. To me, the protein is easy, right? If you have to throw fish in or, or throw meat, I don't know, that's the easy part, okay? Um, but anyway, those are two of my things that I really like from Trader Joe's that for me are effortless. I just put my dogs outside so you don't hear, well, you're going to hear barking and possibly some screaming, but at least everybody knows. Okay, so let's see. So we have the three of us, four of us, so I'm excited. I do this anyway, so I figured, heck, if um, I'm doing it, I might as well, you guys motivate me to do it and to get it done. So um, here we go. Okay, now I've closed every window, every door. I'm actually going to unmute. We're actually, you guys know how to unmute yourselves. Do you have any questions before we start? I'll tell you what we need and all of that. But do you have a question outside of any questions? No? No? All right. We're good. We're going to make our four things today. Our twice-baked spaghetti squash, which is so freaking easy. We're going to make our uh, a nice little chicken rotisserie salad. We'll make a the most in my favorite dressing in the universe, this walnut-based dressing, and our ceviche. Okay, so here we go. Uh, let's talk about, I'm always assuming that you have these things. If we ever do any kind of a cooking class or whatever, um, I'm always assuming that you have some cutting boards, your, your measuring spoons, your uh, measuring cups, a mixing bowl, a couple knives, and, uh, you know, uh, a spoon to mix. The two things maybe a little out of the ordinary today would be a peeler. You're going to need a peeler. And you're going to need a blender. Hopefully you have a blender. Okay? If not, you can put all the ingredients together and go borrow your neighbor's blender app. Okay? But um, pretty much everything else is, is going to be straightforward. And also when we do these cooking classes, um, you can always assume that these uh, recipes are going to be simple, and you can also assume that we, I'm not into fluff. We, I'm, gonna, I'm here to get it done, so I can also show you that cooking is, is fast, okay? So, let's see. All right, we got a few more joiners. All right, I like it. So if you're just joining us, we just went over the recipes we're going to make. We went over the kind of the, the things, the utensils that you'll always need. We went over that all these recipes are not supposed to be brain surgery. We're supposed to bang them out. It's supposed to be super easy. Okay, so let's start with our ceviche. Okay. The very first thing you need is a cutting board. And this is the only snack food that we may have this time. I got fresh lime and I juiced it. You don't need fresh lime, okay? But I don't know if some of you just had the lime. So if you have only your eight lime there, get, start juicing, whether you have a little juicer or your hand, okay? Or some of you might have um, just the lime juice in a bottle and that's fine too. This is the only thing that, everything else will be smooth sailing. This might be our only little hiccup today, okay? So the first thing you need to do is juice your lime. Macy, get back here. Don't do that. Put it away. 
So let's get let's get our lime juice. Do you have it? You have one cup. Okay, we're gonna start our ceviche. Ceviche is totally easy to make. All right, so hopefully you are squeezing your two cups of lime juice. Okay, we're gonna let this marinate. So we're just gonna get the fish and the lime going. This is the lime, the citrus is actually going to cook our fish. So we're just gonna get these two ingredients together. And then, hi, I see Felicia. Okay, all right. So you get your lime juice, one cup. Okay, one cup of lime juice. And I'm gonna pour it in a dish. And then I'm gonna cut up my fish. You should have two pounds of fish. Roughly, I say four or five fillets, obviously it depends. Okay, and you're gonna cut them in bite-sized pieces, okay? I like mine really small, but that is a total personal preference. Hopefully you're not spending all your time on your, on your line, but it's okay, right? I wanna make this quick, but I don't wanna rush you, okay? So you have your two pounds of fish. You can really use any white fish. I think I'm using orange roughy or something, I don't know. But you can use any wild cod, which would be best, right? So I'm just gonna cut mine up into little tiny pieces, and I'm gonna put it in my lime juice. Like I said, that's what's going to cook it, right? I love ceviche, it's super easy to make, super healthy, super refreshing, okay? And a, a thing, uh, one thing I like though, because ceviche is so light and maybe you don't think it's very filling, you can eat it with chips if you like tortilla chips or um, you could also get a tortilla and put it in a little oil and fry it, you know, on your, you know, don't be scared of oil and a little bit of, you know, you have all this fresh stuff. Uh, and what I really like to do with my ceviche, as a side, I make a mango avocado salad. All it is is mango, two mango, it's, it's super easy. I'll, I'll tell you, I actually put the recipe on our page. Since this is so light and sometimes I don't feel really full, I like to pair it with an avocado salad, which is gonna give me that good healthy fat. Hey, Carrie. Yes? How big are you cutting your fish pieces? I like them like this. <laughs> I like them tiny. I like them tiny. And if I really wanted to spend, I would even do them smaller. So that, to me, it's personal preference. Okay. But I, I, I like them really small, bite-sized. And yes, yeah, good. If you guys have any questions or comments, maybe you like to have ceviche a certain way or a certain side. Let's teach each other. If you know me, you know I'm like the world's worst cook. <laughs> right? But the, the thing is with cooking is for me, it's more about being prepared. Right? But no, I am a... Uh, I am no chef, ladies. I am no chef. So this is like the blind lead in the blind, as I always say, but whatever. Harry. Yes? Is the fish pre-cooked or is it raw that you're cutting? My fish is raw. What cooks it is the lime, okay? The lime will actually cook your fish. We're going to marinate it first. We're not going to throw everything in there together. or <laughs> It would taste disgusting. It would taste like, eee, puckery lime. Okay, so this is why it's so easy to me anyway. Anything I just have to chop and throw in a bowl, I'm down. Down with that game. Okay, I'm almost done cutting my fish. And yes, if, if I go too fast or too slow, you just let me know. Okay. All right, so basically that's what's gonna cook our fish. And we're gonna just, we're gonna put this aside. I have a few cutting boards just to make it easier. So I'm going to just stir up the fish with that lemon or wait, lime. You're like, wait, you got lemon. 
Okay. So boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm gonna go put this in my refrigerator. Magically, my magic man is gonna go put it in my refrigerator. All right, so if you're, that's okay. Keep cutting up your fish and your lime. And once we're gonna let that sit, it usually sits for at least 15 minutes. So we're gonna come back to that last. And all we'll have to do is drain the lime and add tomato, onion, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's almost meal number one already done, right? So let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next one is our spaghetti squash. Now you can cut this in half and roast it and do all sorts of amazing things and dust it with garlic, but if you want it simple, right? You get your spaghetti squash. I stab it like five or six times. If hopefully you've washed it, if you want to, right? I'm gonna come over here to my microwave. And I'm gonna, this is a smaller one, so I'm gonna microwave this for maybe like six minutes. Okay, I've stabbed it and I'm gonna microwave it six minutes. Okay, again, you could, you could roast this for an hour and cut it in half and do all this fancy stuff, but we're gonna get it done, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna seek this in my microwave. So Carrie, how did you stab it? Sorry. What's that? How did you stab it? I missed that part. With a knife. <laughs> gotcha. Right? This is if somebody comes to my house, I'm gonna get them knife, right? So. So stab it, stab it a few times. You don't need as big as a knife of mine, but it's, you can. Okay, so then boom, literally, we all, literally almost have the second meal done, right? So there you have it. So, boom. So we have our fish cooking, now we have our spaghetti squash cooking, and now we're gonna move on to, let's move on to the chicken, okay? So get out your ingredients. Or hopefully you have them pretty handy. Okay. I just so the next one. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the recipe up here so you can see it. Again, it's it's another dump dish, and I love this for lunch. You know, and I eat it on bread. Go figure. I mean, don't be afraid of bread. Okay. We want to eat meals that are satisfying and um, that we like. Right? Sometimes when we don't, when we skip that bread, then we're not full. Okay? We, you can put this on lettuce. But this is what we're going to dump in a dish. We're going to get our three cups of chicken. Right? Let's chop that up. I will be first. Now, of course, you can have made your own chicken. Right? Or you can just use rotisserie chicken. Right? I'm all, I'm, I'm all about the shortcut. i, I got to be honest. Like, I'm all about the shortcut. Right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this up. I'm gonna get three cuts and anything left over, I'm gonna use for a meal for my family. So after I make this, I'm gonna take any of that, if there's enough left over, maybe I bought two rotisserie chickens. And I'm gonna have it paired with a vegetable, say green beans and baked potatoes, right? So I'm gonna kind of use my rotisserie chicken for more than one more than one meal, right? So, if you have a good rotisserie chicken, I think Costco, they have a lot of meat on their chickens. Sprouts, to me, their rotisserie chickens suck. I don't know if you disagree, but I feel like there's no meat on their, on their chickens. Okay, so let's get three cuts of our chicken chopped. Chop it up. And I feel like the little healthy hack in this one is using your um, yogurt instead of mayonnaise, right? So I'm gonna get out my measuring cup, my bowl, chop up my chicken, right? Again, I like bite-sized small pieces. That's your, that's your call. But you like. So yeah, so when I was at the store, I also bought some baked potatoes. So another one of my meals, I don't cook just for me. When I cook, it's for my whole family. Okay, no, 
maybe like it sometimes. Or maybe, you know, they get the extra cheese, you know, I give them the extra goodies. If I'm trying to, you know, be a little healthier. So I have three cups of chicken. You can move on to chopping the other things on the board there. Right? And the whole thing, guys, is, you know, this is where the success is. This, to me, is 80% of how my week is going to go. Spending a few hours. Oh, shit, I didn't measure that. Whatever. Well, I'm a bad cook, you know. I, I just, okay, I'm a, I can't follow directions. It's terrible. But this, seriously, this is, this is where it happens, right? This is for me anyway. I'm going to, I'm going to cut up some, okay, three. I have my three cups done. So now I'm going to move on to my next ingredient. I have my yogurt. I'm going to cook, get my green onion. Right? Where's my green onions? So another little hack, I don't like to buy the whole big giant yogurt thing, so I don't like plain yogurt. So I buy just this little size, right? It says two thirds of a cup. All right, I don't know what is in here, but to measure out two thirds, yeah, about two thirds. Okay. And then get your green onion. I like to cut the real white part of your green onion. I probably, and maybe you know different. Okay, like I said, I wish Adriana was on here. She, she knows stuff, right? I just guess. <laughs> Does that make you feel good? I cut off maybe like the here. What do you guys do? What do you do with green onion? Do you cut it there, Barb? Where do you cut it? You have to unmute yourself. Unmute yourself, Barb. Okay. What you got? Where do you cut it, Felicia? Probably right about there, and then I stick right about them up. Right before it gets really white? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what do we need? We need a third cup of green onion. Get my third cup out. Right? And this is just an easy little chicken salad. You can also use this same kind of recipe with not, not mayonnaise, yogurt, and you can add grapes and almonds and nuts. All right, grapes, almonds, wait, there's another one. Celery, grapes, almonds, and celery, right? But it's nice to use the, um, the yogurt as your base instead of mayonnaise. It's healthier, right? I don't even care about the calories. I don't. I don't cut things out because of calories and whatever. Uh, I mean, I want it to taste good first, right? Taste good first because then I'm satisfied. So two thirds cup yogurt, a third cup green onion. Now I'm gonna get my cucumber. I am going to peel my cucumber. But again, that's that's your choice, right? Some people take the seeds out where they cut it in half and they spoon out the seeds. I don't know. I, well, should I? Maybe, okay, I'll do it. Right, they just you spoon out the seeds in the middle. I'll do that a little bit. And when you do that, it just kind of takes the, uh, you know, it just doesn't make your, whatever you're making, it doesn't make it as wet, so to speak, right? But again, I like little tiny pieces. Especially in my chicken salad, if you think about putting it on a, on a like sandwich, right? So, go ahead and put that cucumber in there. What we got next celery and parsley. Uh, a celery hack is to, um, when you go to save your celery, 
which this one is looking a little sad. What's up? How are you, baby? You're too so that one. So probably get it. Wrap it in tin foil. When you wrap the celery in tin foil, you really preserve the life of the celery. And again, whenever I have veggies, as soon as I bring them home, the very first thing I do is cut them if I want people to eat them or they die in my refrigerator. Okay. But if I come home from the grocery store and I'm vigilant just about cutting things and washing things, my kids go in and eat it. If I don't, I throw it out and I feel bad. It makes me sad. Oh good, this is definitely organic because I found a fly. That, that's promising. Okay. How, how are we doing on your, how are we doing? Do, are we all caught up with each other? I'm not, is this recorded? <laughs> Sorry? I said I'm not caught up. Are, are, is this being recorded? Yes, 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 yes. So I'll catch up. I, I'll record this and I'll put it on our on our private group. Okay, on, on Happy Hour HHSC Live Workout Group. And that way, if you have a question, I also did a little meal plan on there. Okay, I try to make every Sunday and Wednesdays are my meal prep days if I'm on my evening. You know, sometimes I'm not on my A game and whatever, I eat a butter crack and crunch. But when I'm on my A game, I'm really prepared with my food, with my snacks. It makes my whole week easier. My whole family eats better. Okay? So that's, that's what we got. Here you have your, your chicken, you have your onion, cucumber, celery, parsley. And then we have, I don't know if you can see at the bottom of the page, or in the bottom right here, it's a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, okay? A tablespoon of Dijon Ooh. mustard. Did I say a tablespoon? <laughs> right? A tablespoon of Dijon, half of a juice of a lemon, and a teaspoon of dill and salt. Okay, that's gonna really flavor that Greek yogurt how he wants it. So, tablespoon, and then we're gonna get a teaspoon of dill, and then a teaspoon of salt. Okay, here we go. Teaspoon of salt. Well, that seems like a lot, doesn't it? See, this is what usually happens to me when I cook. I start to go rogue, and then I start to go, that seems too much, and then it tastes like crap. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say a course today. It says a teaspoon, I'm gonna put in a teaspoon. Teaspoon of salt, I love dill. If you don't like dill, don't add it, oh dear. Okay, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of dill, juice a half of a lemon, and we're done. Okay, I love it, I love it, it's good. So then that's it. Then we're going to sit up. How are you doing? Hmm? Yeah? Yeah. And I said, you can, it's so easy with this yogurt. Greek yogurt. This is one recipe, but usually my go-to is the, um, when you add grapes and almonds and celery. It's kind of an easy one, but. This is good. Now again, you can put this on, you can toast some bread, have a, have an apple. You know, I like to pair this with a sandwich and a piece of fruit for lunch. I'm going to have more than just one serving. So maybe if my kids like it, or I'll try to have it the next day, maybe on I'll slice apples like chips, you know, and I'll put, I'll put it on the apples to have that little crunch. So you can. So there. So that's your, this is one of your meals, maybe even two, okay? My kids love this kind of stuff, so I'm sure they'll eat it. Okay, so we have our fish still cooking. We have our spaghetti squash in the microwave. That guy's chilling out. Are you guys ready to move on? You ready? Hey, Carrie. Yes. Can you tell me what, again, what's on the bottom? I can't see it on the... Oh, sorry, I know. I try to be fancy, Barb, and it's um, 
a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Okay. Okay. And then uh, half of uh, juice of half of a lemon. Uh huh. Right. And then a teaspoon of dill and salt. Okay. A teaspoon, right? So a tablespoon of Dijon, and then we're gonna go a teaspoon of dill and salt. And I'll post all these recipes too online, okay? So let's do, what should we do? Let's do, let's take out our spaghetti squash. Let's do that, okay? Is it too hot to handle? If it's too hot to handle, we can revisit it. This is like the easiest thing in the world. Now, after we do this part, it's really already cooked, okay? You don't really have to do another step, technically, okay? You can put on your favorite spaghetti sauce, and there you go. You can put in your favorite meat or a pair of meatballs, right? But right now, technically, it's already cooked. So we're gonna cut that spaghetti squash in half. Okay, get a spoon, and we're gonna just spoon out the seeds. It's, if it's a little too hot, get a pot holder. Okay, you can hold it with a pot holder. And I just scoop out the middle, right? Not too much, I'm just getting all that little gunk out, right? Just the seeds, it's, this, uh, this is so easy. I love it, again, you could, when you roast these and people get all fancy, but whatever. But to be honest, when you put pasta sauce on it, I don't know how much you really taste it. Okay. So yes, scrape them both out, just the seeds, and then we're gonna get the spaghetti part next. Oh, mine's hot. Is yours hot? I hold it. Okay. I usually have an injury from cooking. I don't know about you, but I mean, it's like, how do I get injured? cooking food, it just happens. I get a burn, I get a, something happens, something hits me in the eyeball, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape my spaghetti squash. Hmm, maybe in a bowl. I'm really trying to preserve the shell of the squash because I'm gonna put mine back in. Uh, now again, you could eat it just like this. This is cooked, you could add whatever, but I really like to eat it um, after I bake it a little bit. So then you just take your fork. And if it's not coming out, it might be because it's not cooked enough, but it should come out super easy. And it looks like spaghetti. And again, if it's not, it's just not yours isn't cooked enough. Maybe pop it back in the microwave for maybe another minute or two. Okay. So the smaller squash, I say about six minutes. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix, uh, mix our favorite spaghetti sauce in here. All right, so there you go. I have mine scraped out. You could do both of them. Again, I'm trying to preserve my shell because I don't know. I'm gonna bake mine again. But I'm, I'm not gonna eat this tonight. I'm gonna have this tomorrow. So I'm not gonna bake it right now. If you wanna bake it right now, you can preheat your oven to like 375, right? But I'm not, I, I like mine baked nice and fresh. So I'm gonna prepare mine for tomorrow, okay? Now again, you can go by meatballs and throw them in here or if you like just ground up turkey or beef or whatever. I don't like meat in my food. It's kind of a weird thing, but me. Okay, so now that I have my spaghetti squash, I'm gonna just put in my favorite sauce. Okay. It's actually my husband's favorite sauce. And you know what he likes? Prego. Most sauce has added sugar, which I'm just not a fan of, but I feel like our palates are so used to sugar. Next time you buy spaghetti sauce, try to find one that doesn't say sugar. And they put sugar in it because it makes it sweet and cheap, right? Instead of having good ingredients. I'm sure Prego is a 
horrible offender of sugar. No offense, sorry, Brado, but you are. Okay, so I just mixed in my favorite spaghetti sauce. You can throw in a little cheese. We're gonna, I like to put most of the cheese on top. I'll throw a little Parmesan in here. You could put fresh basil. You could put cooked turkey meat, right? Do all sorts of things in here. Do you ever go to Mama's? They have uh, a uh, spaghetti squash on their menu. It's okay, to be honest. It doesn't taste like much, but if you're, if you're watching, if you want a good healthy meal eating out, I can't think of a better a better choice. It's okay, you can make it better at home. No offense, mama. You can always make it better at home, right? So now I have mine and they're stuck. I just like this now. I'm not gonna have to clean another bowl tomorrow. And then I'm gonna take my mozzarella cheese and put as much as I want on top. Okay? Don't these are basically almost no calories except for your cheese. So don't, don't skimp out on the cheese, load it up, okay? And then when I go to make these, I'm gonna go wrap these in tin foil, okay? So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna wrap both of them in tin foil, just so I have them in my refrigerator for tomorrow. And when I'm ready, you can even write it on your tin foil with a Sharpie if you uh, need to remember. But I'm just gonna take my tin foil. And when I bake them, I'm not gonna bake them covered in tin foil. I'm just gonna throw them maybe on a, I, I, ha, I use my little, my um, toaster oven. So I don't even have to heat up my big oven. I have a toaster that I, so basically all you're doing, you're not per se cooking it. Tomorrow, you are gonna be heating it up basically, right? But I put it on 375. I try to get it high up on a high rack near the top because I like my cheese real cheesy, bubbly, and crisp. And so tomorrow when I go to bake it, I'm going to put it on a, I'll open this up. I'll bake it at 375, maybe 10 minutes. I'll know it's done when it's nice and golden brown and bubbly. And I won't even have to clean a cookie sheet because I'm going to save my tin foil. okay? So, and if you're right, if you, as a reminder, you get your Sharpie out and just write 375, 10 to 12 minutes, okay? But this is awesome. Love it. Kind of like a single serving, super fast. And again, you know, this is just, it's really loaded vegetables. And loaded vegetables don't fill us up all the time. So it's good to pair this with meatballs or put some ground turkey in here or Maybe you like a side of chicken or whatever, okay? But now I know I have these two all ready to go for this week. So there's my twice baked spaghetti squash, okay? We have a mess. Right, so that one done. We have our chicken salad. We have our spaghetti squash. Uh, where should we go? Let's go to... We'll do the ceviche last. So let's let's do our dressing. So hopefully you have a blender, right? If not, throw everything in a bowl and then you'll have to go borrow your neighbor's blender or something. The blending's the easy part. And you don't need a fancy blender because walnuts are a very soft nut, okay? I have the recipe here, all right? And again, we're gonna throw all of this, we're gonna throw all of this right in our blender. Okay, can you see it? Boom, okay. Uh, we, it, it calls for a cup of walnuts, but we are gonna save a quarter cup of those walnuts to put in the salad when we eat it. All we're really doing right now is making a fabulous dressing, right? So we have, you're gonna throw this all in a blender, okay? And you'll have a lot of salad dressing. So three quarter cups of walnuts, right? Okay, so three quarters cups of walnuts. So stay, put it in your blender. Seriously, I'm obsessed with this dressing. It is so good. Okay, so and then I'm gonna. And if you want, when you eat your salad, if you want a few more walnuts, go ahead, go for it. Right, good healthy fat. 
So three quarters of a cup, you can save that other quarter of a cup for when you eat it. It says also to, to toast the walnuts. I mean, if you want to get fancy, you can toast them in your, micro, in your um, toaster oven, okay? Two tablespoons of shallots. Shallot is just an onion, right? An, in the onion family, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna peel this just like an onion and about two, I'm not gonna chop it up, I'm gonna just guesstimate about two tablespoons, right? Let's do it, and we're gonna throw that in there. I just cut off the, oh, I, I throw it on the ground. Oh, oh, where are my oven? Shit. Oh, mayday, mayday. <laughs> Seriously, Jeff, help. Calling it back up. Jeff. Oh, wait, I got it. <laughs> I dropped it on the floor. Oh, no, you're my name up. <laughs> See? Whatever. I rescued it, okay? So I just cut that. I'm sure I'm wasting a little bit of the shower. I don't care. I'm a gamer. I'm a baller. I can't waste a little shower. And I know every time I try to save some shallot for another recipe, it goes bad on my windowsill or my fridge. So whatever. All right. So I'm just gonna maybe make. You know, I mean, I'm just gonna maybe just make some slices so it's easier to blend up. I'm gonna guesstimate. This is probably a bad idea. Whatever. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna guesstimate about two tablespoons. That's good. I don't know. Put too many shallots. I don't know. I'll let you know. Okay, what else we got? What else? So two teaspoons of salt and a half of a cup of water. Okay. Once you start to really make your, now this is, I mean, most of my dressings are super easy. You know, this would be a more labor intensive dressing in my book. But um, once you start making your own dressing, you, it's, I, I can't even, I, I'd rather not eat a salad if you're going to, if it's going to be a bottle dressing. To me, it actually starts to taste plastic. What do we have? Two teaspoons of salt. Half a cup of water. Two teaspoons of salt. See, it seems like a lot. Okay. Okay, I'll listen. Okay, two teaspoons of that. What was the next one? How much sherry? And then you have sherry vinegar, which is a quarter cup. Uh, where is that? Sherry vinegar. I think that's about all I have left in mine because I made this before. Sherry vinegar, a quarter of a cup. I think I have one more ingredient left. Oh, and a half of a cup of olive oil. Half a cup of olive oil. And that's it. This is seriously like I'm obsessed with this dressing. So we're going to put this I wouldn't mix it until you're ready to eat it, right? But um, I mean, the salad. You're gonna you're gonna mix your dressing, and while I'm gonna put up my dressing in this little container, in a little mason jar. Um, but you have your arugula, right? And you have your endive. Endive is just lettuce, and quite frankly, it just makes me feel fancy. Okay. <laughs> So this is endive. So I just slice it, slice the end off, and I just slice it, you know, and then however, however uh, much I want to put in there and mix it, you know, this will probably give me like at least three salads. Now, again, I can have this for a, a lunch with a little rotisserie chicken, maybe on the side. Got to get creative for what you already bought, right? I can have this salad with the chicken dish that we made. Um, also, one night, I think this pairs great with just steak and some a roasted sweet potato, okay? So, you know, you start to get things in your real house and just things become easy. Do you roast sweet potato? Do you know how easy that is? All you do is, sl uh, uh, what do you call it? Take the skin off of the sweet potato and you dice it into little squares and you toss it with olive oil, salt, and pepper and bake it. I think it's like, I don't know, 350. Everything's on 350, right? 350 for like an hour or something, but seriously, it's the easiest thing. So maybe this salad with baked roasted sweet potato and steak, that sounds delicious, right? I try to make these things just to kind of really kickstart 
my uh, good hand. All right, let's see what happens. Get your blender going. shorter the time and for me a Vitamix I gotta tell you it's one of the best investments I've ever made I love this I mean especially because we are like a fruit smoothie crazy family coconut water and frozen fruit and he's, I mean it's just it's just the easiest thing to make our wasabi bowls hey Carrie and, yes uh, the sign has like a glare on it so oh <laughs> Is that better? Or no? Uh, Let's see. Oh, oh, so oh. is that better? <laughs> if you stand next to it, it's good. Okay, <laughs> I can stand next to it. Half a cup of water, pork country vinegar. Oh, got it. Okay. All right. So, three quarter cups of walnuts. Your two tablespoons of shallots. Two teaspoons of salt. A half a cup of water a quarter cup of sherry vinegar, and a half a cup of olive oil. And usually when you make any salad dressing, all you really need is, you need half olive oil and half vinegar. If you have really nice vinegars, and we have a place right around here, right by the high school. It's a mom and pop shop, they're awesome people. They, they sell fig vinegar and um, basil olive oil, and you, know, you can get really fancy, and all you do is half vinegar, half olive oil. It's so easy once you have good ingredients. So we have all the ingredients. I know. Ooh. All right. But, oh my God. Stick your finger in there and taste it. Carrie, what was the name of the shop? It's called an Infuso. E-N-F-U-S-O. And they, you can go in there at any time, but it's not really a store. It's actually where they make, they make all of it. Um, it's right by the high school. It is, and they're the most darling couple. They're older. Um, they're just a great people and super proud of their amazing, amazing. Oh, yes. There you go. Amy has a bottle. There you go. So this is like gold, if you ask me, okay? So you get your arugula, you get your endive, and you get your pear, and this with some walnuts, and the salad is just, it, I, I'm simple. I think, you know. I just like simple, good recipes. You don't have to do too much to have something in All right, so last but not least, let's finish up that ceviche, shall we? Yes, yes, we shall. Okay, again, another, another thing to chop. That's all we have to do. Sorry for the glare. Okay, we ready to move on? Let me know if we shouldn't move on or whatever. But here we go, okay? Now again, this is just another chop your life away. Chop your life. Oh, wait a second. But before we start, chop, well, hmm, that's not. Hey, Jeff. Shoot. I'm going to go get my fish. Okay. Sorry, our refrigerator is on the, we don't have a refrigerator, except we're in our garage, so or it's broken. Okay, so now you take your fish, and then you have to drain out that lime. So I don't be making it with that lime juice in there. It would be puckery tart. So just drain it out, okay? All right, so once you drain out that extra lime juice, my sous chef is going to help me. Okay, you have all of your other goodies. And again, now look at the proportions. I, I, I like to know this because 
I can make it off the top of my head next time, right? Um, it, it's all the same portion, right? It's a half a cup tomato, a half a cup of onion, a half a cup of cucumber, and a, a half a cup of clamato. Um, a half a cup of clamato. Um, or if you have Bloody Mary mix, we've used this, this zing zing. I like this too. Okay, but you can use any kind of a clam juice. Um, I like pomato. Pomato is my favorite, but okay, it's all a half of a cup. Now I'm, for me personally, I'm doubling all of this. So I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in one cup of each, but you do you, okay? So get, get that and let's do it, okay? So I'm gonna put in a cup of each. Turn. Turn my music on because we're at the end here, right? We have our fish. Now I'm just going to load it. Now that the lime is drained, I'm going to just chop all that and put it in. Boom. Okay. Cup of each. Sit. Right. So like I said, I love this mango salad that pairs with this. It's super clean. I got it when I do the Dr. Junger cleanse. It is two mangoes. I have it on Facebook already. Two mangoes, one avocado, and you just dice it up. Drizzle olive oil, one tablespoon of lime, and some sesame seeds, and it is a great little side salad, so to speak, to ceviche. Okay, so one or half a cup of everything if you're following the recipe there. I like my thing super tiny. But look, ceviche is so easy, right? It's just so easy. We haven't even seen it on our oven, ladies. I need up for that. And if you're, you know, in a hurry, I always like to prep my vegetables because to me, I can always grab a rotisserie chicken or slap some meat together and make a hamburger. I mean, that's so easy to do the protein and make it still taste good. Right, but I believe our health lies in um, our veggies, right? That is the ticket. So that's saying food, let hypocrisy said it 800 million years ago, right? Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. And I truly believe that, right? Okay, so I'm doing a cup of everything. I got my tomato, I mean my, I don't even know what vegetables are. I have my onion cut up, and I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? After my onion, tomato, cucumber, and boom, it's gonna be done. Right? So, like I said before, if you like a little, if you like a tostada, I put a, like a tablespoon of olive oil in a pan, and then I get a flour tortilla, and just lightly, I heat up the oil, and I lightly, you know, it'll kind of puff up. It makes your tortilla taste like a fresh, yummy tostada. Okay, I'm from New Jersey. We don't do Mexican food there, so, you know, bear with me if that's something that you were born doing. But ladies, now we have four meals that we have a nice little base set for the week, right? I hope if you have a sweet tooth that you have some a little go-to plan for that. I have a huge sweet tooth. My go-to plan is that I have fudgesicles. I won't eat 55 fudgesicles. I will eat 55 Snickers, right? And Tootsie Pops, for me, that can help cut my little sweet tooth where I feel a little satisfied. I also will do hot chocolate, right, at night. If I kind of want to drink something I'll, and I want something sweet, I make a hot chocolate. I like that, right? 
Now for ceviche, people definitely scoop out the middle of the cucumber. If you did it, it's not a big deal. But they scoop out the seeds with a spoon. Right? So now you have a cup of each. Right? I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm not scooping out my seeds. I'm not feeling it. I'm going rogue. Uh oh. This isn't good. It's okay. This is what my family were having for dinner tonight. We're going to have the mango and the sesame seed with the avocado and with the ceviche. And of course, um, if you like cilantro, um, I don't think I put cilantro on there. I don't even know how it ended up in my cart taking cilantro. But you could put cilantro. If you like it spicy, put in some spicy stuff, you, like jalapeno. Or um, I do like to put in uh, tahini. See, I'm, get, I'm getting Southern California. I know tahini is. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So mine's looking fine. How about now she's looking? Look at this. Gosh. Press myself. Right? But this looks great. This is so delicious. So yeah, maybe next time you put in spicy clamato. I think they have spicy clamato. I'm just not a spicy. You, you know how to Tabasco. Doesn't that make everything spicy? Right? All right. So now we have four meals. We got a great base for the week. And I want to show you some of my favorite little things here about Azure cooking, okay? Another helpful thing to do for the week is to get your veggies cut and prepped. This is like my favorite thing, Lowry season saw. I said, I don't know, it might have chemicals in it. I don't know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there because I love it and I don't wanna know. I wanna put my head in the sand. All right, cucumber. I know everybody ranches, I, I hate ranch. I don't know why people like that. But everybody, my kids are like, they like it's disgusting. Um, so I like seasoned salt. I put seasoned salt on everything, okay? On cucumbers, not everything actually. That's why this lasts like four years, and then I keep it. It's like expired in 2012. But whatever, okay? But um, you only need a little bit. So some people put tahini. I know that's that's your guys' thing, okay? So cucumbers. Another thing I really like are radishes. Have you ever tried radishes? And you just clean them and you cut, you know, you just cut that little top off and bottom like an onion, you know, and then um, salt, lightly salt radishes. They're spicy, um, but what happens with me is when I start eating sugary and sweet, that it just goes on and on and on. I just want more and more and more, right? But when I have radishes, it's that, it's well, and any vegetable really, um, but it kind of is, it's like brushing your teeth, you know, when you have a radish, it's kind of, it stops your, or my need to like, I don't know, want more and more and more, but yes, you use that. Um, if you have a tomato, eat a tomato like an apple, okay? And you can put a little salt, um, just drink a lot of water. You don't want to be all puffy, you know? Okay, another thing I love are, um, carrots, and you just get, seriously, you get like a, not even a tablespoon. I put maybe, boom, like a teaspoon of olive oil. Again, I get my handy dandy seasoned salt. I'm sure you could use tahini too, right? And then I put the lid on it. I shake it up, you gotta shake it up. Cause it coats it evenly. If you've never tried this, you should try it. Cause it does something to the flavor of the carrot. It's just delicious. It's just delicious. Okay, you gotta keep our vegetables a little bit interesting, right? So it's just nice, it coats it nice and lightly and it gives the olive oil, if you have nice olive oil, it gives it a really nice flavor. Okay, so I can have my cucumber. You should have leftover celery. Do you like almond butter? Do you like peanut butter? That's a great little snack. Try to use everything that we bought, okay? Uh, which we don't have much leftovers in this one. But you guys, that's it. You have your meals. Uh, before we go, do you have any, if you have any questions, do you have any questions? But you, you know, this is a great foundation for the week. Any questions? You feel good? You feel good about what you made?
Do you feel like it's edible? <laughs> you proud? You sad? What do you think, Jen? How much Clamato? Half a cup. Um, how much did you, um, did you do everything else a half of a cup? I, you could do you you could do a half a half of a cup. I did a cup. A ha start with a half of a cup. See how juicy it is. I added a cup. Okay, a cup would probably. Okay. I went rogue. Okay, I can't help it. So yes, but then I I added a cup of everything. But whatever, you can't ruin it if you put in if you put in a cup. Mary, I just wanted to ask, when are you gonna post the video so I can go back and watch it? Cause I'm behind. Um, I'm going to put it usually, I'm trying to think of it, it usually probably within the hour because it, it takes a second. I have to upload it to YouTube and then I have, you know, so it, it, it'll take a, and then zoom. So it takes, it's kind of is a little bit of a process. So probably by an, in an hour. Any Terry, other questions? Where do we send our weight to you? Uh, you're going to send that through the happy hour link that HHSC live workout group. You're going to send it in me on that Facebook Messenger. Facebook Messenger. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you're all set for the week. You guys just did the hardest part of the week. Believe it or not, this is, this, this is the hardest part of the week is being prepared and having a plan. Thanks. Smells like lemon. It does it. Lemon. All right, ladies. Any other questions? I missed. Thank you so much, Carrie. This is awesome. You betcha. You betcha. Have a have Thanks, a great Karen. week. I'll post it as soon as I can and uh, enjoy your food. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, ladies, have a great night. Bye. Bye.